yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's by colonial masters and it's border, border it's control. It's by the colonial, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was by the colonial masters that, that sort of divided people into two like, you know, I see, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah the yeah, parts of Ethiopia used to be part of Somalia. Really? Yeah, yeah. The people that are Somalis, 100% Somalis, but they're just like, you know, in a different... Yeah. Wow, I see. So, yeah, so which yeah. language do you speak? Somali or I speak Somali, uh -huh. which is my mother tongue, and then and then I speak Swahili, which is the national language. Oh, Swahili. Yeah. yeah, and then English, which is also like the second national language. Do you speak any any Kenyan language? Yeah, my Kenyan. The uh, okay, Kenya has got forty-four tribes. Wow. And each tribe they've got their own mother tongue. Mm. Yes, yeah, so now, but so now, in order for like everyone to actually understand each other, yeah, they have we, a, 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 a common language oh, which is yeah. Swahili language. Oh. Yeah, so now I speak Swahili, yeah, which is like the common language for, language for like every tribe, you know. Yes, yes, yeah, so now the uh, your your average Kenyan he will be speaking in three languages. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, your average, your, your average. yeah, because of the uh, his mother tongue. And every tribe they've got their own. Wow. Yeah. So now, Swahili is the national language. I see. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good to know cultures and um, it's good to know languages. It's good to know people's way of yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Say yeah. that again. So you don't pray for that. Yeah. You know, let's see how it goes. Let's see. Let. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Hey guys, how are you all doing? So today we are going to the London Eye and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, okay? So it's just me taking a walk. I'm quite tired because I arrived in London today and um, London Eye is just one of the activities for today. And the rest of the activity I'm going to update you guys. What I'm going to do now is turn the camera around, show you what this beautiful place looks like, okay? Wow, I'm already seeing like beautiful, beautiful views. Hey lovelies, I present to you one of the attractions of London, which is known as London Eye. Let's dive into a brief history of this London Eye. It was built by a husband and wife known as Julia Barfield and David Max, who ran the Max Barfield Architect. In 1993, the concept of this giant Ferris wheel originated as a submission to a contest by the Sunday Times and Great Britain Architecture Foundation to mark the beginning of the new millennium. All right, lovelies, you can see how beautiful this wheel is. It is so massive and guess what there's so many people out here today to take a view to to enjoy this beautiful view so if you're in london what are you waiting for come with me lovelies let's explore this london eye together because i'm not leaving you all behind you know your girl i'm gonna give it to you Guys, all really hey, i'm gonna amazing. give it to you okay let's get our ticket here okay i hope i'm able to capture everything for you guys Look at you putting your face <laughs> and you too. Joy and you too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, the queue is massive. One amazing thing for me was the smile written on everyone's face. As you can see from the video, everyone was literally happy, smiling, and couldn't wait to, you know, go in there and have a nice view. Oh, no. This was the check-in point before going in for security reasons. Yes. Oh wow, this view is magnificent. 
I just couldn't get enough of it. I wanted to like spend more time. But yeah, let's okay. just go into the main attraction. All right, wow. that was at this point we were going in, you know, getting ready. But let's go back again to the brief history of this awesome, amazing wheel. Now, this iconic Ferris wheel was a celebration of the new year and was intended to provide a modern addiction to the historic areas of London in which it stands with 32 capsules surrounding the central wheels and 22 persons capacity in each. The London Eye can carry around 15,000 visitors daily standing at 135 meters tall and reaching far above some of the city's old landmarks the were provided tourists with amazing views of such iconic structures such as big ben and the houses of parliament it takes around 30 minutes for the london eye to complete a single trip 30 minutes and it's designed for continual motion it doesn't stop lovely it keeps going round and round so when it's time to go in you need to hurry up be fast don't start talking okay when it's time for you to go in go in quickly now the construction of this wheel was completed in the year 2000 after the wheels components were sealed up by teams and assembled flat before raising. The London Eye weighed around 1,700 tons in total. Guys, that's a lot of weight. Come to think of it, it's so weighty. Now, okay, moving ahead, the attraction has won many awards for tourism and architecture. Now, look at this. Look at how beautiful it is. Trust me, it's it actually deserves the award. Award. it Just is because it's so Benson. beautiful this is totally hey amazing. lovelies as you can see from the view at this point we just couldn't avoid taking pictures we had to we had to take pictures and your girl had to take pictures oh, because we are paparazzi eh? <laughs> at this point i hope i'm able to convince you all that there is no need to deny that a trip to London Eye is a must for everyone whenever you're planning a holiday in the United Kingdom. If you ever plan a holiday to the United Kingdom or if you're in London or if you haven't visited London and you haven't visited the London Eye, you are missing a lot. Trust me, you are missing a lot because you can't tell me that you're in london you haven't been to the london eye or you intend coming down to the uk for holiday purpose and you didn't include the london eye in your holiday packages come on guys think of it you are missing a lot all right lovelies going back again to the history of this london eye it is what stating that the london eye has changed hands over the years originally it was owned by a conglomeration of the chosen group british airways and members of the mark Baffid family but in 2006 chosen group gained sole ownership the following year the company was purchased by merlin entertainment who still maintain complete ownership of the london eye why ownership has changed hands several times over the spans of its existence history has it that the london eye has always remained an iconic part of the city's skyline and is still one of the most popular attractions guys from this place where we are we can view the city you can see the beautiful city of london you can see how beautiful it is you can see how many castles you can see all the you know beautiful part of london you really want to explore this with me lovelies trust me you don't want to miss you don't want to what are you doing further today the london eye attracts huge numbers of tourists and is estimated to have accommodated over 30 million visitors since it was first opened making it an enduring significant symbol in modern london skyline hey lovelies at this point having looked and having observed this beautiful city of london from the sky where i was it made me to realize how awesome god is the wisdom he bestowed on us human is just it's super it's beyond it's awesome because i mean this is just so beautiful to even come up with a thought of having to create something that is amazing this is just so awesome and i'm just happy that i'm able to like have a beautiful view of the london city 
All right, lovely. From this top view, we also saw the Tower Bridge, which is also an iconic 19th century bridge, which spanned the River Thames close to the Tower of London and still operates its original suspension mechanism. The Tower Bridge is one of London's most distinctive landmark, named after the Tower of London. The bridge has arguably gained more widespread recognition than its medieval neighbor. Before its opening in 1894, Londoners wishing to cross the Thames at this point without getting wet had to take a subterranean roof. The Tower subway used by one million people each year was closed in 1898 to all except those carrying out maintenance work. If you fancy expressing what it's like to walk under the Thames, a similar footpath that led from Greenwich to the Isle of Dogs remain open. The Industrial Revolution turned 19th century London into a prosperous polluted and overcrowded center of commerce and production the east end was home to many industries including the manufacture of furnitures clothing papers as well as the vast interlink economy of the dockland and their unloaded cargo further east the city boom created the need for a new river crossing east of london bridge to facilitate supply chains when tower bridge was commissioned in 1876 over 50 proposals were submitted for its designs for the winning entry the commission stipulated a safe efficient crossing without blocking access to the river for ships entering the commercial stretch of the thames called the pool a difficult tax fast forward to the second world war during the second world war a certain architect called wfc holding conceived an imagination plan to model tower bridge his bizarre proposal involved increasing the existing bridge in glass and steel which in addition to a crossing would provide space for offices and shops fortunately his design wasn't pursued with an enthusiasm as it would have meant the removal of the bridge's most exciting features the moving bascules all right lovelies i hope you are enjoying this view how is it all going at this point lovelies i'm gonna let you all enjoy this beautiful view and i'm gonna catch up with you at the end <laughs>
Wow, that was amazing. All right, lovies. Oops, that wasn't bad at all. Hey, lovies. Looks like we've come to the end of this amazing tour around London. And hey, I hope you guys actually enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys, Lord. Catch ya. It's been an amazing time if you ask me. Yeah.